Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be an SAS haul um, from like three or four days at least. Um, so I think the last time I posted a video was Wednesday. Um, Thursday, we kind of had a lot going on. I went and picked up my wedding dress. Um, I met my mom at her work, so I was able to stop at Bath and Body Works before then. And then we went to get my dress, which there's a different store out that way, because it's like an hour away. So we went to that Bath and Body Works, then we went to a local baseball game. So it didn't get back till real late, and then I worked the next morning. Um, so Friday and Saturday, I was actually able to stop at Bath and Body Works after work. I literally got there like five to ten minutes before they even closed um so I was able to swing in real quick and I picked up I bought stuff every time I was in store I never walked it walked out empty-handed um and then yesterday was Sunday um and they had that 20% off code so I was kind of sad that I wasn't able to make it in store um just because stores close at like six and I work 12 hour shifts so I don't get off till 7 15 um, so I wasn't able to make it to any of them, uh, but today I went to two of my stores here in my town again and was able to find a couple more things because prices have been dropping. Um, it's kind of worrying me because my standalone store, because this is the first SAS with a standalone store, is really disappointing to be quite honest. Um, they don't really have that many candles. Uh, the bins are empty. They've had the same stuff in them for like an entire week and it's just kind of boring. So my mall store has actually been the best one to go to, but I'm just waiting for more prices to drop. Uh, I got a lot of stuff that was on my wish list, so that's really good. And I'm not going to be able, I know the stuff that I bought today, but the stuff over the course of the past four days before today are just kind of a blur. So um, I tried to film this yesterday after the shower and I just didn't like, I just rambled too much it got confusing and I tried to like tell you what day I was in store and bought the stuff but I'm just gonna show you everything and then once I get to today's purchases I'll say that but it's too hard with all those like random little trips I don't remember what went with what and it doesn't really matter um you guys just want to see what I got at this SAS um that I haven't shown you yet so we'll just go ahead and get started so the first bag I have here so I know that most of this stuff is from the store when I got my dress. So I picked up two, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> I picked up two of the Atlantic um, men's body care shower gels. Um, my mom was with me when I went to this store. So she was talking about Father's Day stuff. And I asked if my dad needed colognes or body washes or anything like that. So I went ahead and picked up these two body washes. Um, I'll show you some other stuff because I got to figure out what I'm going to give him for Father's Day and then what my fiance can use. So there's two of the Atlantic. They were 75% off. Um, all this stuff was 75% off. Um, I, I'll tell you if it wasn't. I got a Gangnam Body Scrub. I just recently used one of these up, but now that I have the full size set of Gangnam, um, plus the perfume that I got, which I did take out of the box, and it is so pretty. I'm so happy that I got this for 75% off. Um, so I just figured I'd grab another one of these. I said I was gonna not buy body scrubs, but here we are. Um, next I got sorry these dogs they just don't stop now that they like each other uh, i got stone in the bar soap hey stop it they get a little too crazy stone in the bar soap my mom said my dad would use bar soap um my fiance actually said he would even use so i just got one of stone they all smell almost the same to me so i don't really care which ones i pick up um next i got a hello spring hand uh cream I loved the packaging from this from the moment it came out. There was only one left, and for a dollar seventy ish, I thought it was a really good deal. It is in the scent Fresh Cut Lilacs, which I don't have anything in Fresh Cut Lilacs. The only thing I've ever had was a single wick candle, and I really enjoyed it. But I'm also venturing out in my scent prefer preference, so I picked this up. Next, these are all pocket backs, and they're all in the same fragrance. So here I have nine so i got nine of the mary cookie these came out to 49 cents a piece i like this packaging mary cookie is such a good scent in all forms and i'm just super happy that i found this i actually bought all that was left so that was nine okay moving on to the next bag so i picked up 
the one in a million. So this was super, super exciting. Something must have leaked in here because it's like sticky. So I bought one in the one in a million in a shower gel two or three SASs ago. I don't even know why I bought it because I've never really been into super strong floral scents, which this is. But I knew when I bought it that it was like a rare scent, but they didn't have the body cream or the mist. It's been not sold or produced Ooh. for hey stop it for a while um i don't even know if i was in bath and body works like into bath and body works when this came out so now i have the full set which i really didn't even think i was going to be able to get my hands on or that i would even really like it i've thought about exchanging that shower gel multiple times but now i have a full set and i couldn't be happier the only thing is i bought this when it was 4.95 um, because my mall store was actually sold out of these, but my standalone still had it. So I just didn't want to miss out on it. But then Sunday, the stuff was $3.95. I was never able to exchange it just because of work and stuff. So now it's back up to $4.95, I think. And the 20% off would have made it the same price I already bought it at. So I don't know how that price... Um, price... Uh, matching or what's it called um like to get your money back because the price dropped because it went back up so I don't know how that works if you guys know let me know um since I bought it at a higher price point and now it's then it went lower and now it's higher will I get my I don't know I think I'm just gonna hold on to it and see if it goes 75 percent off or if they go back down to 395 and then I can use my coupon so it's cheaper I don't know um, that's just really confusing, but I have them. I will keep them. If I can't get some of my money back because they dropped a little bit in price, that's fine. Um, so these two things I'm going to return. I have a couple things that I have to return in price, price adjust. I think that's what I'm looking for, but I'm just going to return these. I don't really know I bought them. They were $2 and like 12 cents, which I think is a lot when you can get a full size fragrance mist for like $3 and some change. Um, I just bought them because I was like excited to be in the store. So this was Happy Easter Tutti Fruity Candy, which I already have the full size mist of. And then Pure Wonder, which I also have a full size mist. Right now I'm trying to use up my mini, so it seems kind of counterproductive to buy more that I'm just going to put in a project right away, probably, because I don't need to keep them. So I'm returning these two, sadly. And then I think this is what's spilling. And I don't know why. I keep trying to twist it. I think it's faulty packaging. Um, I finally decided that I was going to get the Carnival Kettle Corn um, Foaming Hand Soap. They dropped the price of this, too. It was $3.95. Now it's $3.25. But you can use your coupon, so it's even cheaper. So I, I don't know what, why it's leaking. This scent is amazing. So I think I'm going to exchange this one just for another of the same scent, probably. Um, I accidentally added a hand soap, I don't know how, to my cart online. I, by the way, have two online hauls coming the ones like, they're both exciting, but the ones like, I'm really excited for it. So I bought a random coastal watermelon. I don't even care for that scent. So I have to exchange that anyway. So I'll probably just save this to do that all together and just get another one of these or a different fragrance that I'll tell you about here. So this stuff just has to go back to the store. That hand soap, I don't know what's wrong with it. Maybe I'll just, I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep it. I don't know why it's leaking like that. But I can also get it for a cheaper price point now. So I, I just need to take it into store. Get my couple cents back. Or just return it and then re-buy it with my coupon. Because the 20% off coupon actually doesn't expire until Wednesday, I believe. The 20th. And um, also I have my 10 off 40 coupon that I got. Uh, my mom gave it to me Thursday. It was in our mail from my old house. So I have coupons that I can use. I can get that for way cheaper by way I mean like probably a dollar anyways so now we'll move on to oh wait here I put these up here so after these three things I'm going to show you everything else I got today so after work one of the days I picked up winterberry wreath so uh, my store the standalone store this is the only candle that they still have left they have, this is like the only thing that I found at that store candle wise um other than those single wicks that I showed you a couple days ago but this candle I just don't like it I'm trying to like come around to it and try to like put myself in like the Christmas winter mood in my head so that I can smell this and think of burning it in the winter 
and it's just so odd it has notes of fresh picked orange juicy blackberry and warm vetiver it's clearly the vetiver that is way too strong in this i wish it was more just fruity because then it would be more universal but there's just some like it almost smells like a dark liquor or something it's just too potent and deep hey latte i can't anyways moving on then at my mall, I picked up bergamot waters, which I've never had before. Um, this has notes of sparkling bergamot, pristine blue waters, and sugared citrus and creamy sandalwood. I When they have four uh, set notes, it always throws me off. Um, I love the white barn packaging, so this was a no-brainer. It's just like a fresh and clean manly scent. Um, very universal. I would literally use this all year round um so for six dollars i had to pick it up so got that one and then i ended up getting mountain teak wood so this must have been from the fall it has like fall leaves on it this has notes of crisp mountain air rich teak wood and a touch of fre fresh eucalyptus I love mahogany teak wood, so anything that is like a cousin to that, I love. So this is definitely different than just mahogany teak wood. That eucalyptus is a strong note in its own, but I think it blends really well with this candle. I'm sure it'll probably be a decent throw, and I love strong, decent throws. So this is one I was definitely happy to pick up. So now we'll move into the stuff from today. So let's see, where do I want to start? Okay, we'll start here. I bought some stuff I didn't think I was going to buy. Like, truthfully. This stuff was, like, not really on my list. One, I think just because it was going to be too expensive. But then they drop prices. They put this 20% off coupon out. Now it's, like, I'm rethinking my life. So... I got the Rainbow Cereal Hand Soap. This was from the same collection as the Carnival Kettle Corn. And I actually haven't even smelled this, but I'm imagining it's going to smell super good. I can't even open it. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's everything I've dreamed of. This is amazing. I'm so excited for this. Um, I'm probably going to exchange the one that I bought online uh, coastal watermelon for this because this collection was awesome i'm so glad they released that scent okay next i didn't i wasn't gonna buy this but then i did so this is cinnamon donut swirl in the shower gel it really frustrates me that they did not release this stuff in full collections i don't know why they would ever think to do that that was the stupidest decision they've ever made but i still fell for it because I just don't want to miss out. I don't want people to be talking about this and this go for millions of dollars on Mercari and be like, wow, I could have bought that. Because that's what I did with Confetti Cake Pop when it first came out. That was when I was just getting into Bath and Body Works. Like, literally had no collection, really, at all. And I smelled it in store and, like, who cared? Who cared about it? It was, like, an okay scent. I moved on. Well, I regretted that. So, I just had to pick this up. It smells so good. I will probably use it in the fall. And I got it. Okay, next. I looked at these um, and thought if they go down in price, I'll probably get them. Um, but I didn't think it would happen this quick because I think that was on like Friday. I said that. And it's Monday. So I got the Aromatherapy Lavender and Vanilla Shampoo and Conditioner. I am so excited about this. This came out to like $3.70 a piece. Like, these are big bottles. They're 16 fluid ounces. The scent is pretty good. I mean, it's better. The only other one they had was Stress Relief. It's better than that, in my opinion. I don't want to smell like that. This, I feel like, just goes with more stuff. And I've really been into lavender, to be quite honest. It's kind of weird to me, because I never really liked it. But I was just so shocked. that It was on the $4.95 table, and then I used my 20% off coupon so this was cheap i never use uh sulfates and parabens and stuff like that on my hair i use like usually the more expensive brands for my blonde hair but i don't even care because i love bath and body Works so much and if i use like one thing a year that's sulfates and parabens i don't think it's the end of the world so i'm so excited about that 
and so excited that we will move on to the second bag where I will show you I got another set of it. So two shampoos, two conditioners. I'm just so excited about this because if it didn't sell well, they might never release shampoos and conditioners again. And I know like years ago, because my aunt was telling me they used to sell shampoo and conditioner, I think in like multiple scents, like maybe like their core core collection and stuff like that um they don't really do that I, I know they did that a little bit I but it was like here and then left like it, it must have not done well and that's why I'm like if this is my only chance to try Bath and Body Works hair care I'm doing it I don't care and so many people rave about their um hair masks that they've been they come out with every so often they just came out with a dry shampoo and summer melody it just freaks me latte Okay, next I got two more bar soaps. I got a second one in stone and then one in a clean slate. Like I Hey! Stop. Latte. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Anyways, so now I have three bar soaps and I'll divvy them up between my dad and Jared and we'll, we'll figure that out. Okay, then... I bought all the ones that they had on the table because how, these men, I just shop more for them than I do myself, it seems. Um, so long story short, I actually got from the $3.95 table, uh, I got some men's ones, Canyon, Freshwater, and Oasis. I'm returning those because I paid like, I saved uh, like a dollar getting these ones instead. And Jer he didn't really even care for those scents. I think he ha he already has Oasis. Canyon, he may or may not have, but he wasn't too crazy about it. Freshwater, I do like, but they all smell the same to me, so I don't really care. And he seemed more excited about this one than those. So I got four of Clean Slate. Yeah, it just smells good. I got it for $2 and some change. That is crazy when this is originally $14.50. $2 and something. Under $3.00. I picked up four, so I don't know if I'm going, and I p picked up other ones the first day of SAS, so I am, like, very stocked on men's body care, um, in the washes, they don't use the lotion. Hey! I have no idea what he's showing on. <sighs> well, he swallowed it, whatever it was. Okay, so four of those. And that's everything from that bag. Now we'll move on to this bag. <sighs> I did it, guys. I freaking did it. I got bubblegum pop. So I went to my mall store and they only had the fine fragrance mist left. And I was very worried of that. If it dropped, I was going to get it. But people said that the scent doesn't last very long. But it is unique and smells just like bubblegum. And I just didn't want to miss out on that. So I got it hoping that by some chance my standalone store would have some more of the shower gel. And they probably had five left. So I grabbed it. These came out to like $3 and... 70 or 90 cents so pretty much it's very close to 75 percent off i just don't want to be without this it's way better than the 495 price point three dollars way better than five so i'm glad i got it wish there was a lotion again but i'm still very happy that i got it so that i don't regret it um i smelled the orange twist almost got it my fiance didn't like it um, cotton candy clouds I already have and it will probably continue to come out um, so I just figured the cinnamon donut swirl which here is the lotion I got this as well and then the bubblegum pop they were just the best ones and the more like unique that might not ever come out again so I got those I got a second carnival kettle corn my plan is to have two of these and two of the um, rainbow cereal yeah so I want two of both of these. So right now I have two of these and then I can exchange the coastal watermelon for this one. Um, okay. Then I got another hand soap on 75% off and then with the coupon, this was super cheap. It is endless weekend, nothing special, um, but it's just another hand soap for really cheap and I buy whatever ones are cheaper. So then to 
finally um, complete my one set that I have. I just needed the uh, Peach Prosecco Macaroon um, body wash. So I finally got it and I'm very, very excited about it because now I have the full set of it and this was a scent I was really excited for. Um, and then also another one and like these were really scary because I was scared that they were going to sell out and I was going to be so upset that I didn't grab them before, but I wanted them to go 75% off so bad. So not only um, Peach Prosecco Macaroon completes one of my sets, but so does Buttercups and Berry Bellini. Oh, I'm so happy to have two more full complete sets now. I was waiting and waiting and waiting and being so patient and I waited for the perfect time. Extra 20% off, got them 75% off. They were both 50 for a while and I'm super happy with it. So I'm going to put those back in here. And then the last thing in this bag is a candle. So I got another winter cabin. This will be my third winter cabin. It's just a cologne scent. It has notes of winter air, black pepper, warm amber, and cedar. Um, as you saw, I got two of these. Um, when that sale associate was able to like mark down the items for me because they were from Christmas and fall, which was super nice of her. Um, but this was up at the register actually. It wasn't even on the 75% off table and then they had a little sign. So they got me at the register. So I picked one more of these up. Then this is the last bag and it's just candles. I got a, another Bergamot Waters. They still had some. And I kind of regretted when I tried to film my video last night that I didn't get more because it's white barn packaging. It's a universal scent. And I'm happy that I was able to pick it up. It's really nothing riveting. You guys know I like sweet gourmand scents, but my stores when it comes to SAS or even just in general, they're sold out. Like the only thing that's ever left behind is more eucalyptus, um, balsam, like not sweet anything that's not sweet they'll they will leave behind so that's fine i'm still very appreciative i can get them for such a cheap price point especially so these ones rang up under five dollars i want to say is that right yeah let me find them let's see how much did i pay for these So the Bergamot Waters was $4.89, but then one of the other ones I'm about to show you was $5.10. So Bergam the ones that were $24.50 were under $5, and the ones that were $25.50 were like pretty much five bucks. So you can't beat that. Another Bergamot Waters, so now I have three of those. <laughs> Um, and then last but not least, this one's still, like, I'm not super excited about it, but it's just one that I don't have, so that's good. I'm gonna be happy about it. Um, this is Mahogany Balsam, so this is Juniper Berry Fresh Balsam Mahogany Wood. Does everything have mahogany in it? This smells really good. Super good. I love mahogany teak wood, so you put anything with it and I'm probably going to like it. And then you add that balsam. It's clearly a Christmas candle, um, but I just don't have this one. I think this collection didn't do the best when they had it. The packaging was kind of just boring, but at least this one has like green glass. Um, this one just looks really bland and plain, but they're also simplistic. So take it as you will, um, but I really like the scent of this. So... Yeah, that is a total of seven candles, I believe. Yes, seven. Seven more candles. I need to stop buying candles. But I'm telling you guys, because the 20% off coupon is still going to be good for online. And if they drop a couple more candles here this week, because I work tomorrow and Friday. But other than that, I won't work again until like next Friday. So I got a bunch of days off um, coming up. I need to watch my spending probably, but also I'm watching for the deals. I'm watching everybody's YouTube video. I appreciate, um, who is it? Oh my goodness. I'm so, I always blank on people's names. Cynthia. Yes, Cynthia. 
she has been doing like uh videos late at night while well, she lives in california but um saying about what things are gonna drop in price for the next day and i am so appreciative of her that she does that because it gets me so excited and i'm also like at nighttime waiting for her to post the video um but yeah so i'm on the hunt for more stuff to drop there's nothing else though that i really want honestly the other collections are just the only thing honestly probably is the confetti sparkle whatever that is spark whatever that one is uh like the watermelon blast uh beach nights if that stuff goes i will get backups because i already have it um except the watermelon blast mist which i think if i place another online order hopefully more candles go 75 percent off because online i can find sweet candles so then i would maybe return these no, I probably wouldn't um because I could use them for gifts or something I just got them for so cheap I wouldn't return them probably um but I'm always looking for sweet gourmand candles so if I place another order I'm just gonna put watermelon blast in my cart right now it's at like eight dollars and sixty cents that's just way too much that I I don't want to pay that but if it comes down to it I just don't want to be without it um but if, if I am, it's not the end of the world. I just waited too long. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but that's really the only thing on my list. Because I don't care about the um, the new Hibiscus Paradise packaging. Like, anything in that line, I don't really care for. Um, what, do you, what else is there? There's really nothing else I can... The, like, summer... Summertime surf and all those. And, like, the tie-dye packaging. Like, pink watermelon... I don't care for any of that. Stress relief, I'm not a big fan of. Those um, bubble baths or like Lux bubble baths. Those were really intriguing today for the $4.95 price point plus a 20% off. But I don't need them. I have three of them, one I'm using. I just don't need them. I'm not a huge fan of the scent, even though the bubble bath is really nice. Um, I have a lot of Dr. Teal's anyway, so... We'll see, but thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry it was late on getting this video out, but gotta work to pay for all this stuff. My desk in front of me is full. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'm sure I will see you. I have a video that I have to post, but also I'm gonna have my online haul coming. Hopefully this week it shipped today. Um, but yeah, I'll have more hauls, I'm sure. So see you then, bye guys.